From so simple a beginning, endless forms most beautiful and most wonderful have been and are being evolved. For the past century, however, researchers have ignored the two key words in that sentence, are being, when it comes to human beings. They believe that once humans invented culture, our evolution has stopped. And the question is, did we? I'm Chuan Shen Chen, professor in the School of Social Ecology. I study human behavior from interdisciplinary perspective. I was trained as a cross-cultural developmental psychologist. So one of my lines of research focuses on how cultural factors affect child and adolescent development. So over the years, I've tried to integrate a multidisciplinary approach to my uh, research. I've worked with developmental psychologists, uh, anthropologists, molecular geneticists, and uh, cognitive neuroscientists. We try to understand how the brain and genes and behaviors are all interconnected. For the past few years, Professor Robert Moises at, at the University of California, Irvine, Professor Chi Dong at Beijing Normal University, and I, we've worked on uh, a project that tried to really link the genes, the brain, and behaviors. So most people think that biology is the basis of human behavior, right? We do things because our brain tells us what to do. So we think of evolution as here are the genes, here are the mutations, and how those mutations would, would uh, change the traje trajectory of evolution. And what we're doing is actually try to, to put in an, a notion that actually the driving force behind human evolution may not be the biological entity. So culture is the driving force behind how humans have changed in the last uh, 10,000 years. When we invented agriculture, people have more sedentary kind of lifestyle and they live close to each other. And all of those changes are very significant compared to the kind of lifestyle they had when they were hunters and gatherers. Recently, we look at the signatures of recent selection in neurotransmitter genes, basically all the genes that are important in human brain functions, and found that they showed especially recent and very strong selection. The recently selected genes have been linked to behaviors such as alcohol use and emotional regulation and those behaviors we think are really affected by modern culture because alcohol use wasn't invented too long ago and the emotional regulation becomes particularly important when you have a large group of people living in the same environment for, for a long time. So there's this new field called cultural neuroscience. Uh, its idea is actually very simple, just trying to understand how culture can affect the brain functions. Recently, we've been working on a new line of research trying to figure out how culture can actually leave its fingerprint on our genes. Well, our research is just trying to really bring a holistic understanding of why people are the way they are, and also why groups are different from one another.